Golden Retrievers are such great family dogs. They're so smart, handsome, gentle, and friendly that it's easy to overlook some of their behavior problems. But like any dog breed, they hate a few things we humans do. And in this video, we'll look at a few of them. <coughs> Before we start, you can send photos of your furry friends to the email address in the description to feature them on this channel. Don't wait, let's start the video. When you hug them. It's adorable to look at photos of people hugging dogs, but the reality is it's not so comfortable. Many dogs do not enjoy hugs, from strangers especially. Most dogs tolerate hugs from their trusted humans, but that doesn't mean they like them. By placing your arms around a doggo's neck or body, it could be perceived as a threat. Another way is to let the dog cuddle on his terms and pet him along the back and chest, especially when you don't know the dog well. Sure, some dogs do love to be hugged, but it's essential that you know your own dog and understand his limits. You can pay attention to his body language to help you understand his feelings when you hug him. If the dog leans away, averts his eyes, has a worried look, or shows other appeasement gestures, then he's probably uncomfortable. when people rely on words rather than body language. Us humans are a communicative species, so much so that even our pets who can't understand what we're saying like listening to us talk. What your dog does not appreciate is when you do this regularly. He can be able to figure out what a reward, sit or stand. Your golden retriever, on the other hand, can't comprehend human language. Your body language is what your pet uses to figure out what you're saying. Your pet can become an exceptional reader of the human body without you even realizing it. Your dog can figure out what you're thinking and feeling before realizing it. Getting into your doggo's personal space. Just like hugging, golden retrievers tend to dislike it when humans get in their faces. Avoid touching a dog's face, towering over dogs and rushing toward them. Just think about how it would make you feel. This is pretty important if the dog does not know you well. As a Golden Retriever owner, if you need to poke and prod your dog for his own good, such as ear cleaning or tooth brushing, you should go slowly, be gentle, and reward your dog with treats. And if your dog shows signs of fear or acts aggressively, back off. It's always best to be careful and prevent a dog bite. <coughs> Petting your dog's face. Do you like it when someone pats you on the head? If your answer is no, then you might know that it's not something most of us love when the person reaches out and taps on the head, no matter how nicely or friendly he does so. It's quite irritating at best and painful at worst. When you reach for your retriever's face to pet him, you can notice that even the most loving golden retriever leans away. When someone tries this on you, you may react by pulling your head back and bending away. And still, many still want to pat their dogs. It doesn't sit well with your dog either. You can give your dog belly rubs if you really want to thank them for being amazing, but you should never hit them in the head. You can be sure he won't like it. They hate when things are out of place. A golden retriever, one of the most intelligent dog breeds, likes regulations as much as he needs them. You might think that his tight restrictions make his life monotonous. However, your golden retriever wants you to know what his master thinks. Kids, like humans, flourish in a home with clear rules to obey. Rules make life more predictable, less stressful, and much less confusing. Not letting them explore on walks. Dogs love going on walks for more than just exercise. Taking a walk outdoors gives your golden retriever a chance to explore the world. Your dog explores the world mainly through scent, then with its other senses, while most humans explore the world through our sight first. So rushing your dog through a walk without allowing him to stop and sniff as well as mark is not so kind. It's just like someone dragging you by the arm through your favorite shop without letting you stop and look at everything. And if it happens all the time, that would be pretty frustrating, wouldn't it? So next time you walk your golden retriever, remember to give him plenty of time to explore his environment. <laughs> Tense situations. Tension on a short leash is not the only way your golden retriever can sense your mood. Even if you don't know it, he can sense when you are tense. Your dog does not appreciate being anxious, and the more stressed you are, the more stressed your dog gets. You can try to check in with yourself the next time you notice your dog's frustration. 
dressing them up. Unless you got your golden retriever used to wearing clothing gradually as a puppy, then there's a good chance your dog hates being dressed up. Many dogs will tolerate costumes, but most don't like them. There are some dogs who are fine with simple clothing items like shirts, but loathe wearing things on their heads or feet. And how important is it that you dress up your dog anyway? So if your dog needs protection from the cold, start with small, lightweight items and associate them with treats or other rewards. You can work your way up to sweaters, jackets and booties. You can also watch your dog's body language to determine when he's had enough. Strong smells If you didn't already know, your Golden Retriever's sense of smell is about 10,000 to 100,000 times more sensitive than yours. Generally, dogs enjoy taking in all types of smells. However, strong fragrances and chemicals can irritate dogs and their noses. As a rule, avoiding directly spraying your dog with anything is best. If your pet needs a medical spray applied, avoid the face. You could spray the medication on a cloth and apply it. Then, when you use your products, perfume, hairspray, air freshener, cleaners, and so on, do so away from your dog and ensure the product is not toxic. Boredom If you ever notice your golden retriever getting into boxes, chewing on table legs, or eating shoes, then it's a sign that he's bored. Your golden retriever despises boredom, especially since his breed is so active. But training games are a simple answer to this issue. You can teach your golden retriever new tricks or play a game of hide and seek with him. You can also take him on a stroll to help him improve his agility. Make time for your dog to be happy tired. Being ignored. Golden retrievers are social creatures who generally hate being left alone. Some dogs are happy in the presence of another dog, and others only want human companionship. Some dogs fear being left alone and can experience separation anxiety. The problem is that dog owners must work to pay for all that gourmet dog food. You must also have a life, run errands, take vacations, or something else. Of course, your pet doesn't understand all of that. So, what is the solution? You could spend as much time as possible with your dog when you're home. You can set a daily routine providing plenty of exercises and mental stimulation. Like it, but he still needs rules. If your dog is acting out, it's probably as you've not taught him the rules. Training is an essential part of providing routine in your dog's life. Routine is important as your dog has an internal clock. You can try to feed your golden retriever at the same time each day. You need to establish an exercise routine too. After a few days of proper rules and routine, you'll probably notice that your dog is happier. Routines and rules make your dog's world more predictable and can actually boost his confidence. Oh, I know. I know. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you found this video interesting, then be sure to leave us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be always up to date with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in another video.